Hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the New York Stock Exchange and with me today is Tom Equals, the CEO of Hemispheric Biopharma. Welcome Good back. Morning, Jane. Good to talk to you again. And also Jeff Cross, a financial analyst with Crystal Research. And uh, we're going to talk to Tom about some big news your company just announced this week. So I'll let you explain what, ha what happened. Well, we're grateful to announce that we re uh, received official approval from the Republic of Argentina for our drug Amplogen as a therapeutic for severe cases of ME-CFS. ME-CFS is a horribly disabling disease in its severe, severe form and we're very grateful that after over four years of work that our team along with our partner in Argentina, GP Farm, has been able to answer all the medical and scientific questions of the regulatory authorities in Argentina to get approval. And what this means for our company is uh, obviously very important, but it's perhaps more important for people with the severe form of MECFS because what it provides is light at the end of the tunnel. It provides hope. And you're talking about chronic fatigue syndrome. I'm talking about okay. chronic fatigue syndrome. Mm -hmm. And this is um, really the first product approved for uh, indication anywhere in the world. That's correct. Okay. And that, that's why it's so significant. Mm -hmm. you know, it's okay. a, and, it, and it addresses the severe form of the disease, which is disabling. You know, people are often bedridden 24-7, requiring a caregiver just to survive. Mm -hmm. Now, Jeff, what does this mean for the company from an analyst's point of view? Well, it's very significant because you've gone from a proof of concept to a company actually successfully being able to get a drug approved by a regulatory body. And not only did they get a drug approved by a regulatory body, but they got a drug approved for an indication where there is no approval. So for the company, this could be, depending on where it's priced in reimbursement, you've got 100,000 people over there that are afflicted. You've got several hundred thousand people worldwide. This could be a multi-billion dollar drug. So very significant also in that it opens the doors for them, which is as other regulatory bodies will look at where they got approval, it will make it easier for them to get approval in the other Latin countries. Like the other ones, because they were really kind of breaking ground here. Absolutely. And there were two pivotal studies, right, that you presented to the Argentine authorities. Well, that's correct. And then the safety data was based on additional studies, including the FDA approved existing open label study where we're uh, allowed to provide drugs to patients with severe CFS in clinics around the United States. And how big could this be, Jeff, eventually um, as a treatment for CFS? If it gets approval in the other countries that they'll be targeting, targeting it could be a multi-billion dollar drug. Mm -hmm. So you've got 100,000 patients right now with nothing else that they could, nothing else for them to take. So you would expect people who have a severe condition like this to even be traveling to Argentina to get treated. And also, um, this paves the way we mentioned for other countries, and I know the European Union is a possibility as well. So where are you in that process? Well, we've already instituted what are called early access programs in the European Union. Obviously, the approval of uh, a regulatory authority in another country based upon uh, uh, pivotal studies that were controlled and, and uh, meeting you know, medical standards, worldwide medical standards, is very important in the uh, early access program uh, activities that we've already undertaken and just initiated. Uh, but uh, again, the most important thing here, and, and I, wanna, I wanna focus on this, we, we have uh, a disease that in its severe form is almost completely disabling. And it's a, it's a up until now, from an approval standpoint, it's a completely unmet medical need. There, there is no other drug that's ever been approved for this disease. And we are so grateful that the Republic of Argentina uh, you know, has been able to uh, approve this drug and open the door so that we can go from country to country and do our best to make Amplingen available uh, to address this need. And of course, this begs the question, if somebody's watching in the United States, what might it take for approval to happen here? Well, it's, it's impossible to predict the, whether you'll get approved in the United States or the timing of any uh, approval because it's a governmental entity and, and they work on, on their schedule. But we are going to do our very best to provide uh, our FDA uh, with everything uh, possible to move forward on that path. And, and uh, you know, we're a small company, uh, but you know, our commitment to the disease is large and our commitment to getting this approval is large, 
and it's our it's our hope that we'll be able to put things together and and move down the path in the United States uh, over the next year or two. Uh, and, uh, you know, God willing, we'll, we'll see an approval here. Okay. And Tom, finally, one more question. There are a couple things that need to happen before it can actually be used by patients in Argentina, like inspections of facilities and things like that. That's so correct. What needs to happen? How long does you think Well, before will we can do a commercial launch in Argentina, uh, we have to have a number of things take place. They're not, not as complicated as the new drug application, obviously. But uh, the, the uh, manufacturing facilities will have to be inspected and approved. Um, the Argentina, in large part, the patients who will be receiving the drug uh, will be reimbursed by the Argentine government. So they have uh, a social security system that covers the medical care for many of their citizens. So there'll, there'll be a pricing uh, analysis and evaluation that has to be approved by the Argentine government as well before we can, you know, do the commercial lunch. Okay, thank you very much, and thanks for your contribution to Global Health. I mean, well, as you mentioned, it's well, important thank you. to change you know, lives. And on behalf of our team at Hemispherics, I am very proud of the hard work that our manufacturing and science and research teams have, have done to get this approval. And we will work just as hard. In fact, we'll redouble our efforts to see that happen in other countries. Okay, thank you very much. Tom Equals, the CEO of Hemispherics Biopharma, and also Jeff Cross, a financial analyst at Crystal Research. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. So for more stories about small companies doing interesting things, you can go to smallcapnation.com.